What is bokeh? Bokeh is a Japanese word that refers to that part of the photographic image that is out of focus, so it is basically blurred and not clear. In photography and cinematography, a good quality bokeh is particularly important because not only gives that professional and cinematic look, but also because it helps the viewer to focus particularly on the subject that is, you know, like detached, disconnected from the rest of the scene. How is it generated? Well, there are multiple factors that impact in the quality of the bokeh. But before, you need to know that it's not at all about the camera's body. It is about the lens. Indeed, when you have those rounded and circular shapes in the blurry background of the image, it is because of how the rays of light and the reflection of light pass through the aperture of the lens. The better is the lens, and usually the more expensive, because it has more blades inside the aperture and the more rounded uh, those circles will be. To have a good quality bokeh you need a very shallow depth of field. It means that the part that you want to be in focus, so your subject, is much much less in terms of space and distance than the part that is out of focus and blurred, like the background. To get this you need the right combination of tight focal length, wide lens aperture, proximity of the lens to the subject and distance of the subject from the background. Now, let's see these four elements one by one. As tighter is the lens focal length, as shallower is going to be the part of the image that is in focus. So let me explain. If we take two identical images with the same aperture, with the same proximity of the lens to the subject, and the same proximity of the subject to the distance, well, a wider lens is going to produce a much more larger depth of field than a tail lens. So this explains why usually a tail lens, like an 85 mm is much more preferred in portraiture than a wide lens. Because on top of giving less uh, distortion, it also provides a better detachment, you know, disconnection of the subject to the background. So this is simple. The widest is going to be the lens aperture, the shallower is going to be the depth of field. So aperture of 1.4, 1.8, 2.8, up until 4 usually gives a very creamy, blurry background. So to intensify the bokeh and to better isolate the subject from the background, move as close as possible as you can to the subject. The more is the distance, the softer and the blurred will be the background. Let's wrap this up. First things first, get a tight lens. Second, open the aperture of your lens at the widest value possible. Third, move as close as possible to your subject and for it, place your subject as distant as possible from the background. And that's it guys, it's not that difficult, it's just about knowing a little bit of theory and then uh, practicing and practicing and practicing and practice. Okay, so guys, let me know down in the comments below your experience. If you want to tag me on Instagram uh, to show me your stuff, uh, I will be pleased. And that's it. Give it a like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell in case you want to stay in touch. And I will see you on the next ride. Alright, cheers.